This is my review on Beauty and the Beast that's going on one of my favorite films. So, the movie's about this beast who gets turned to by a beast on his, at the age of 10 years old by this witch because he wasn't nice to her because he didn't let her in. And then he found that she was actually a babe. So, of course, like most things, it was to get a soft spot for a babe in their manhood. And so, years later, on his Ebony 17, he falls in love with this girl called Bella, and she's really into reading books. Something that uh, girls are not really used, used to exercising their brains in that time. The more used to into looking and pressing men with their looks. But uh, this is what really interests is the beast. But first, he uses her as leverage to uh, because by the 18th birthday, he doesn't fall in love. He will be a beast forever. And Bell 17 for the entire film. So Beast becomes the adult legally and she falls in love with some minor. Oh. Okay. Not all creepy. It's actually kind of cute, actually, when you look, look at the story. When, you, when you're watching the story, it's actually kind of cute. So, we see the Beast very immature and childish and has uh, anger issues. And has full of temper when he doesn't get what he wants. But then we see his soft side, and that's what Bella falls in love with, his soft side. And tries to him, get him open, uh, open him up after Bella's forced to live in the castle to or to save her father to let her father go. And he, the beast is once is trying is the reason why he's actually so angry all the time at Bella because he's trying so hard to. And press her to get her to fall in love with him. But what she doesn't get, he just has to show his, his, uh, his, uh, the, he just has to be himself. And he learns that by, after doing all these nice things for Bella, he learns that he just has to be himself in front of Bella. And that's how he gets her. And... This guy, Gaston, is in love with Belle, but Belle doesn't feel the same way because he's this is a douche. But he's a likable douche. Uh, uh, in an entertaining douche uh, way. So, he uh, forms Angry Army after Belle it's let go by the beast because he let her go because he told his president he let her go because he loves her. So he let go by her own free will. And Bell hasn't told her, told him how he feels. And now they're going to kill the beast. Gaston and Angry Mob are going to kill, like, have decided to kill the Beast. And the uh, Beast, Abella, talks about how sweet he is. And how really, how so, you know, such a sweetheart. And Gaston says, if I didn't know, but I say you have feelings for this Beast. And she calls him the real Beast. Yeah, song this makes him jealous. And so the beast goes to defend himself and defends himself against Gaston and his army and Bella goes to try save Beast. And Gaston and Beast get into a fight. It's Beast against man, 
and Gaston loses, but Beast also dies by the hands of Gaston. But simply for the power of love, this brings Beast back from the dead and turns him human again. And my god, does he look horrifying. He looks like a fish, a goldfish, a dead goldfish. That mutated into a human. At least that's all, because he's... It's... Yeah, he was cute as a beast. I don't know. I mean, I know that... Okay, I know it looks like everything, but... If he's a beast, shouldn't that make him less appealing, not more appealing? The saying. So, yeah, they obviously live happy ever after... The cheese pots and the chandelier turn back into humans. And Beast and Bella are dancing for a ball in celebration that the Beast is the prince again. And will Bella will become his queen, then he'll become a king. Of course, it doesn't end with some gay man, so can't say the queens and kings yet. Well, Beauty and Beast has some problems, a lot of problems, a lot of concerning, scary problems. Um, it does make up with some serious heart and good drama and comedy and good character development and likable characters and charming characters and characters you understand why they're like that and where they're coming from. So yeah, I love this film, man. I give it a thumbs up.